where you have say so in certain projects, not they telling you everything. And we shot major first. If, if the majors keep shutting the door on us, then we go independent. Independent will always be there. Y'all know that. The only difference in the levels, as far as wise, is like what she says, just marketing and promotion. Uh, you know what? They I, can give you a bigger audience. doesn't matter what you do. If you don't have the right people around you, that's oh, how yeah. you, you get fucked exactly. up. Exactly. Exactly. So, and it's a politic game, you know what I'm saying? Um, you have to, at the end of the day, you have to trust me. You have to trust him. You have to trust him. You have to trust her. And you have to become a family. Like when you born together as a as a unit, like it's no way it's no it's no way you could be stopped when you born together. Nobody can say, well, Nick was talking about you. Like Nick was in Florida, and she went somewhere and made a statement. Oh fuck, oh, fuck my guys! I don't like my guys. Exactly. And he's exactly. not. I feel I feel like cause the the media construe shit. They'll flip shit and say LG ain't. Fucking with under lock and key no more. He's fucking with bad boy now. He he don't like them no more. You never said that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, yeah, sure, man. But it's Nevs, Nevs, Nevs and Mike Ice used to be real real tight. They boys now. The money is separating them. Nevs is getting a whole bunch of women. He's getting a whole bunch of money. <laughs> he's, getting, he's getting this, that, another. Oh, he don't need Mike Ice no more. Nevs, you don't need Mike Ice no more, right? I never said that. But they'll rewrite the shit. Yeah. And if not that, they'll ask a certain question. Like, I'm, I'm a real good interviewer, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that they ask you a lot of trick questions. That doesn't even work on me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I write, so, you know, not even just that. I used to write, you know, poems and all that, or journalist stuff or whatever, mm -hmm. and, you know, core points, stuff like that. Like, I got a real crazy background. I got a lot of so background. We can walk around stuff. with prepared speeches in our pockets. But yeah, I can. <laughs> I actually can. So, they'll ask you certain, you know, they'll ask you certain questions. To try to you know get a certain answer out of you, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's just like being on you know being a j and not jail, but um being a court. And they yeah. ask you a certain question, they ask you around stuff like that. Around about my mother, way. Yeah, my mother used to know. I get I get so tired of doing interviews sometimes. I want to just you know what I want to do now? I want to put a team together where I could just sit back and just shop you. You got a show Friday. You got a magazine shoot. You got a photo shoot. Certain questions or whatever. Like I don't have no problem, like you know, cutting in and then answering them or helping you answer them, yeah. but not in a way like it makes it seem like. And I don't want you to every time you want you know to say, I, I say the same to, thing. I, yeah, I expect you to you listen and then pay attention. Sometimes, if I do do that, it's just so you can see. And, and, and it's not me taking your line by. It's not like that. It's just to help you in the, in the scenarios that we learn later on when they, when you do ask a question. And I'm not there. I can't help you with that. What you going to do? You going to choke on the, on the camera? They use that as a publicist. They use that as to take you down too. You know what I'm saying? When you go on the stage, right? It don't make a difference what slot you go in. When you leave that stage, you want that artist behind you, be when that was in front of you. Scared. Damn, I got like when we used to go to shows with Goldilocks. The chicks used to be like, "When she go?" Because they didn't want to go behind her, and they damn sure they didn't want to go in front of her. So they were stuck, because she would always come to the show. And have the stage, and she would take the crowd over. Oh, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, 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 oh. Y'all dead in here tonight. Yo, all y'all in the back, y'all gotta come up front. If not, go outside. You, y'all gotta, security, go get she'll, them people up the tent. She was at the, the 50 mic, like she that. pulled the whole, the whole audience up front. And they was in the back, near the bar, whatever. She does that. And when you go on the stage, that's your house. When you go on stage, how much time, whatever you own time. that right now. So you want everybody in that audience center of attention. You a center of attention right now. You don't want people like passing drinks. You don't want people talking like, oh, next act, man. Damn, man, get this nigga off the stage. You want to go on that stage. The, the songs that you do, as soon as they drop, you want everybody like, oh shit, that shit's hot. Oh, when you come off the stage, yo, well, who did your production, man? Yo, that shit was tight, man. Word up, man. Yo, here go my car. Cars go to me. Because you're not going to really want to deal with all them people. Oh, no. You're right. Any of them, any of my artists, they get cars and stuff like that, they pass them to me. You know, you might not want to deal with the, you know, the, the hang-up shit or whatever, because they might be talking numbers or something like that or whatever. You probably don't understand. And then you're going to get a lot you know then you're gonna saying? get a lot of people. For instance, y'all already know. They wasn't around when you wasn't doing shit. But when you was doing stuff, they ain't want to step to the next level. 
Now you got a buzz. Now everybody want to hang with you. Everybody your friend now. Everybody cool with it's you. Like that, right? Your entourage got bigger. Yeah, exactly. The motherfuckers that wasn't chilling with you exactly. yesterday. Now, like what's it? Yo, like yo, yo, I carry a bag. You want me to hand out your flyers? What you want me to do? You want CDs? Yo, L, I know you was doing it like that, man. Yo, I see. Yo, I see you on BET. I see you on Apollo. Yo, hold up, yo. Because we had an artist we was dealing with. It, it was a whole bunch of bullshit, yo. And he was under management. He lied. And his management called us, and, and, and his entertainment lawyer called us. Take all the music down off the MySpace page, take all, everything. He won the, pop, he won the Spider-Man competition for Sony BMG. Yeah. If it wasn't for us, he went out and won that shit. Because we got in the room and we rooted for him. He made the Apollo and he didn't get booed, he made it to the semi-final. But for him he to do that shit behind our back, man, is he, he played some, both sides. He did some, he did some too, snake yeah. shit. It's not good. Snake shit to me too. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that. You can't yeah, come not. and I'm doing something for you, and then your management come later I'm on, and they want to be, they, they want to be like, yo, they so, doing something. They never did that shit for you. You know what I mean? And I, I got a problem with that. That's and he crazy. came to the 50 Mike tournament. Only for production. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't get wild and none. He came over and you know, I came out to support y'all and all like, yeah, all right, whatever. We gave him peace and everything. And now all of a sudden he's trying to wiggle his way back over here and it's too late for that. You shouldn't have never did that from jump. We were, just you can easily get there and, and fall to the bottom of the charts. Mm -hmm. And your, your reign is over. Yeah. I yeah. followed G-Unit. I'm glad you said that. 2003 they started. What is it now? 2008. They've been in the game five years. Seven, Everything they put out went platinum or gold. They had no busted out. No matter how much people say, I hate Tony Ayo, Lloyd Banks fell on, they still millionaires and they still doing it. And that's no, we have to have fun with this also. Yeah. You gotta feel comfortable and have fun with it. When you up on the stage, you want to be fun. You want it to be fun. It's like, yo, I want this to be my number one job. What's, what's I don't want to do nothing else but this. Treat it as your last. Treat it as your last show. Yeah. See, that's how I treat records. So you gonna retire? It's my last record. record. Ain't no tomorrow. I don't even think about tomorrow. For now. That's it. That's how you gonna try to think of it?